Christmas is just a few weeks away and it's time to make your candied orange peel for your fruit cake and your other Christmas bakes. Dip the candied orange peel in chocolate and you have some dessert for yourself and for gifting as well. I never used to think much of oranges before I started baking and started using orange zest in my baking and desserts and started making candied orange peel at home. And during this season you find plenty of fresh oranges and one of the things I must absolutely make during this season is some candied orange peel. Homemade is so zesty, so aromatic and so fresh and it's so different from the ones you could buy from the store. And to make the candied orange peel, we just need three ingredients. We need some really, really fresh oranges, organic preferably, and we need some sugar and then some water. You can find the ingredient list and the proportions listed in the description below the video. We have these oranges here and uh, I have some water simmering here. Uh, I have washed these oranges and now I'm going to be cutting them from one end to the other end. Use a sharp knife. We need just the peel of the orange and you could use the juice for some other purpose. We are going to be cutting this into four parts and now we need to remove just the skin of the orange. Try to keep it intact as much as possible so that you get the maximum longer peels. And you could make quite a lot of candied orange peel with just two oranges. We need to cut them into uh, strips now. And if you don't want your candied orange peel to have the sharp tails, you could just trim them around here. If I were making these for myself, I wouldn't worry about the tails and I would try to get as much as possible out of these oranges. So you need strips like this and uh, try to keep them uniform in width as much as possible so that they cook evenly. So this is the peel from two oranges and now I'm going to be putting this peel into this boiling water here. You can see the peels floating in the water. There should be enough water in your pan here. So we are going to be boiling these orange peels for about 5 to 6 minutes and uh, then we are going to be draining them and then rinsing them. Then again put them in some more uh, hot water, boil again for 5 to 6 minutes, drain and rinse. This helps cook the orange peels, it will soften them and also help remove some of the bitterness from the peels. But I think I find a hint of bitterness desirable sometimes. So these are uh, orange peels which I have boiled twice and I have drained them and then rinsed them. You could taste a tiny bit at this point and if you still find some bitterness or if you want them to soften a little more then you could boil them once again. And uh, we have some water in this uh, pan here and uh, we have some sugar here. I'm using a little uh, less than what's recommended because I do not want my orange peels very sweet. Now I'm going to be putting this sugar into this water. We'll dissolve this sugar and then boil this syrup here. Let's dissolve this sugar. And I'm using regular granulated white sugar. The sugar has all dissolved now. I'm going to be putting this orange peels into this sugar syrup. So we need to just spread out all these peels in the uh, sugar syrup and make sure that all of them are inside the syrup. But now I'm going to be putting this on low heat. We'll cover this and then cook for about 30 minutes. Keep checking the peels once in a while, say once in 10 minutes and uh, turn the peels if needed and then put the lid back and cook again for some more time. And now quite a bit of the syrup has been already absorbed and I'm just flipping the peels. And please do observe carefully and keep watching at the end of the cooking time because you do not want the candied peel to start burning. And if in doubt about when to remove this from the heat, then you could try removing this a little earlier than later. Make a small batch of these uh, candied orange peel with just two oranges because experience is the best teacher and uh, then you will know how much sugar you want in your candied orange peel and how long you would want them to cook.
Now there is very little uh, syrup here. I'm going to be taking these off the heat. It's all right if there's a little bit of thick syrup left at the bottom. You do not want to overcook these and make them dry and chewy. And the cooking time depends on the number of oranges you would be using to make the candied orange peel. And once the peels are ready, they would have turned translucent and shiny. And once the peels are done, we'll lift them out and we'll put them on a cooling rack and we'll let all the excess syrup drip away. And this will be very hot, so be careful. And we'll put them on the cooling rack and then let them dry for some time. And once the peels dry, you could just roll them in some granulated sugar. Or you could just dip them in some melted chocolate and then put them on a piece of baking parchment and let the chocolate harden and set. And then later you could keep them in the refrigerator for a few days and you could have one after every meal. And to use these in baking, you don't really need to roll them in uh, sugar. You could just snip them into tiny pieces and uh, store them in the refrigerator. And you could use them in your cakes or your mince pies and a lot of other uh, desserts. And you will really love them and you will never buy candied orange peel from the store again. I hope you'll try these and keep them ready. We shall do some Christmas baking soon.